Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 2023 Surfing Walk of Fame induction ceremony. Like I said, we're stoked to have you. Uh, my name is John Etheridge, my sidekick here, PT Peter Townen. We have an incredible class of inductees today, so we're super excited to have everybody here joining us on Main Street in beautiful Surf City. Hey, is today a great day? It is an absolutely perfect day here in Surf City. The rest of the world is baking or freezing. Here we are, perfect weather as always. Thank you, Surf City. My name is John Etheridge. I'm the chairman of the board, so I'm stoked to be here and join you guys today. I also want to acknowledge uh, the loss last year of one of our founding board members and a surfing walk of fame inductee, Don McAllister. We have his girls right here, or two of his three girls, uh, Denise and Gail. Super stoked uh, to have you. Don meant so much to this city, uh, and we've decided to partner this year with the International Surfing Museum uh, to create an NSSA scholarship in his name. Right here, PT. Yeah, Don meant so much uh, to this community and to me personally. And uh, I thought we needed to honor him. And uh, so we came up with this idea that's similar to the Walter Payton Award in the NFL, in that we were going to choose a high school student in the NSSA uh, that made the NSSA Nationals as voted by their coach. Um, to be given a scholarship in the memory of Don, and the award is called the McAllister. And this is it right here. <clears throat> Our great friend and trophy maker, Dave Reynolds, did that incredible bust. And uh, we had a 10-person academic uh, group of people uh, vote on the candidates that were submitted and we got submissions from Jersey, Florida and of course California. And our first winner is a young kid from Huntington Beach High, Cameron Youngsma, and I want to bring him up here right now. When, when we did the uh, initial presentation at the NSSA National with the Mayor's Cup uh, down at the Nationals, um, I was telling Cameron, I go, listen, mate, you're the first name on, on the trophy. And I said, uh, it might not mean that much today. I said, it's kind of like me. I'm, my, I'm the first name on the world championship trophy. I said, but now my name's on there with like Kelly Slater and Andy Irons and all these guys. And I said, years from now, you're going to look back and you're going to go, mate, your name's first. <laughs> I'd like to say thanks to PT, the whole McAllister family for everything. Just super stoked and Coach Verdon for nominating me. Everyone here, just thank you so much. And with this, I'll be continuing my education at Cal State San Marcos for surfing. And I'm just super stoked. Thank you, everyone. I want to say a, a, a welcome here to our city council. Uh, we have Mayor Tony Strickland. Next to him, we have Senator Janet Wynn. She's not in city council. Diane Dixon, Assemblywoman Diane Dixon. We have Councilman Pat Burns. Thanks for coming, Pat. Councilman Dan Kalmick. Thank you, Dan. Great to see you here. And Councilwoman Natalie Mosier. Thank you so much. We also have, I saw our, man, our city manager, Al Zelinka. Boom. Hey, Al. Good to see you. We have our city attorney, Michael Gates, and his wife, Kelly. Stoked to have you. See, this is the first year that I get to stand in front of you being a senator that represents the entire coast of Orange County. So from Seal Beach all the way to San Clemente, every beautiful part of Orange County coast that you can surf in 
is in my district, our district. Uh, welcome, Huntington Beach, uh, Surf City, USA. And, uh, you know, there's no honor that I've had uh, bigger than being mayor of Huntington Beach. And Huntington Beach is a special place. It is Surf City, USA, but it's a special place because of people like PT and John and all the people here. You're involved in everything. You're involved in the community. You help each other. This is a wonderful, wonderful community. And we're synonymous with surfing. And it's just a privilege to be here as mayor to honor all of our new inductees. Uh, as, as Pat Burns would say, have fun, have a great time. And it's my great pleasure to bring Jesse Billhauer up here to accept honor roll. Tomorrow is never guaranteed. You really gotta enjoy your life, be thankful for where you're at, give back to the less fortunate. You never know when that could be you. I didn't know that tomorrow, one day, I was going to break my neck, and I did. And now I'm trying to help out and give back to the communities around the country by doing Life Rolls On. Be kind to people. You never know what they're going through. People could see me in a wheelchair, so they open up the doors for me. But a lot of people are struggling inside, that are walking, that are able-bodied, that have everything. It's up to you as friends, strangers, to tell them, how you doing? Have a good day. Be there for somebody. Open the door for somebody. Because that one little moment can change the trajectory of their lives forever. And I just want to say thanks to the people that helped me go from being paralyzed at home to being a multi-world champion, to starting a foundation, to giving back, and to being in a feature film movie, to graduating college, to having twin boys. Hey, I'm paralyzed. What's your excuse? Thank you. It's my great pleasure to bring Don Hansen up on stage. Well, I think today is the day that I thought would never come. <laughs> and and I, I'm not sure if I'm really suited for this honor anyway. So I guess I'd just like to say thank you for all you, the people that have helped uh, get me here and and uh, I think it's a great day today so uh, thank you for, very much does it get any more local than Chewy Madrigal <laughs> I gotta say something about our mayors they've always been friendly to the surf community yeah, well, so thank you so uh, anyway, before PT drags me off the stage, I, <laughs> I guess I just want to say thank you very much once again, and thank you, everybody. I had a lot of friends here that came and saw me today and joined me in this festivity. So thank you, guys. Love you all. So he's a man of many talents but he will never really tell you about him himself. He has all his friends that will do that for him, and I count myself blessed to be among his friends. Um, he's gonna outlive all of us. He and Keith Richards will be the last two people alive on the planet, but I'm okay with that. Anyway, thank you all. He's very honored, he's very sorry he couldn't be here. Um, but he appreciates the support, and so do I. Thank you very much. Yvonne showed, through the, his commitment, through putting his money where his mouth is and is where his company is, that along with the you know, high peaks of the Tetons and the granite walls of Yosemite and the snowy towers of Patagonia, he has shown that the ocean is truly one of those wild areas that he has cherished and dedicated his life to protecting. So uh, I think as quoted in this great uh, profile of him in the pamphlet, no one other than Kelly Slater said, you know, we need a lot more people like him in the surfing world. I'm just grateful that we have Yvonne Chouinard. So thank you. I call them kids. They were freckle-faced groms from Bondi Beach, one of the most famous uh, beaches in Australia. 
and um, they both became champions of the world. I remember little Pauline Mensoy, this little freckle-faced girl uh, from Bondi Beach. She's what I call a part of a forgotten era that in the 90s, her, Lane Beachley, and Lisa Adams, the whole decade, the three of them won every Bell's Beach, rang the bell in Australia, which is pretty amazing if you think about it. Unfortunately, she couldn't make it, but she sent us a killer video that Patrick's going to share with you right now. G'day, Pauline Menti here from Australia. So excited to get inducted into the Surfing Walk of Fame. It's been 30 years since I won my world title, and to be recognised now is awesome. Shane Moran, Bondi boy, well done. I'm very stoked to be inducted with you. Huntington has a special part, place in my heart. I remember when I won there one year, I had blonde hair, blue mohawk, glitter all over my face and had the crowd spurring me on, and um, I was very thankful, that, for, thankful for that support. And um, also knowing now that a little part of me is going to be at Huntington Beach forever is awesome. Thanks, everyone. Cheers. Okay, we're going to close the show here with a kid I've known since he was called Kid Dynamo. <laughs> he was this little freckle-faced kid from Bondi Beach, and, uh, and before I get him up here, you know we've got three beautiful surfboards over there that you can bid on, and I think at the moment there are steel. So uh, if you're interested in a beautiful new longboard over there, get your name on the bid sheet. So back to this kid from Bondi. Of course, he was a member of the team that we created called the Bronze Dazis. We ran a set of surf clinics and one of them was in Bondi Beach, and he won it. And he became the first junior bronze Dazzy. He was on the team when the bronze Dazzies won the Caton Pro-Am on the north side in, in 79. Of course, probably the most important thing was he was the first pro champion at the pier. In 1982, he won the OP Pro with a 360 that rocked the world. <laughs> He uh, was one of the most individualistic surfers that's ever been on tour. He rode winged keel surfboards and single fins even long after the thruster was here and was still killing it and winning. So it's my great pleasure to bring Shane around to the microphone. Yeah. Woo! I had to take the glasses off to have a look. I'll just lift the stand up. I'm not as uh, big as PT. <laughs> hey, uh, firstly, I just want to thank uh, all the team at, at the, uh, for the induction today for the Surfing Walk of Fame. So I take off on this wave, and you've all, probably a lot of you have seen the picture, you know, and it's got skip marks down the face. And I'm not like a windsurfer where I can just float off and float back on and float off and float back on. I'm like, uh, hanging on like this, hitting these chops. Just make the bottom of the wave. As, I, as, as soon as I get to the bottom, the, I fall. Bang. And uh, just get monstered, like murdered. And my... the. The jet skis, when you're out at yours, the wipeout is horrendous. You feel like you're going to die each time. And, you know, it, I'm surprised nobody has died out there yet because it's, it's no different to Mavericks or a lot of these big waves. You get tossed and turned. So I get my guy that I've got is a German guy, Robbie Seeger. Being, he's a big, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I see him coming in and I put my hand up and as I put my hand up for him to pick me up, I get pulled back down in the turbulence. I've got no air left. I've come up, got one breath and then all of a sudden I'm going down in the turbulence 
and I feel his, my hands underneath the water, I feel his hand grab my hand and he just picks me up. So I'm facing backwards. I'm facing backwards. He's driving forward. All right. So he's driving forward. He's picked me up and he's just holding me in the air and driving me out of the brake. Right. And we get out of the brake. I get on the back of the jet ski and stars are just going. And, and they, they have a doctor in the water, right, to make sure you're right. We're in the middle of a contest. And I'm just, I can't see anything. I can just see. Anyway, we go over to the doctor and the doctor says, you know, are you all right? Are you, he can see I'm not all right. I'm not all right. <laughs> right? And I look up at him and the stars are starting to just start to mellow out a little bit. And I go... Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> and he goes, all right, get out there. So I get out there. I'm trying to come down off this experience. And I'm sitting there and it's my priority. And the waves are coming and, and that big wave still hasn't come. And I'm st it's not a, no, like I would have probably, if I was okay, I probably would have used my priority. But I sat there for like 30 minutes trying to get over that wipeout. And then the biggest wave of the day comes. It was massive. And as I sort of just took off and rode that wave, and that was a fr I was free falling down the face. There's nothing big about this part of the story. It's pretty mellow. So I just ride the wave, get to the bottom, and, uh, and kick out. And then later on that night, we're at, uh, we're all together, all the big wave riders, we're all sort of together and then the lifeguards come up to me and the lifeguards come up to me and go, man, Shane, you caught the two biggest waves, of your, two biggest waves of the day today. They were phenomenal and I'll finish on that. That was the wave of my life. <laughs>